Today I'm in Stockholm visiting one of the most exciting companies I think you'll find anywhere. It's called H2 Green Steel. It's focused on solving one of the world's great challenges in the world today. The creation of steel accounts for 7% of the world's total carbon emissions. The world needs steel. We all use steel for buildings, for cars, for so many different things. So how do we get the steel the world needs while reducing the emissions of carbon from it? Enter this company, H2 Green Steel. What we're doing is addressing decarbonization in one of the dirtiest industries, steelmaking. In normal steelmaking, there are blast furnaces that are using coke in order to reduce the iron ore. But you get a lot of CO2 out of it. We're using renewable energy all the way through the process. That's coming from wind and from hydropower using that to produce green hydrogen, using that green hydrogen to mix it with iron ore to create green iron. And then we use then a modern steel mill which we have electrified. And by taking that whole value chain, we are decarbonizing some 95% of today's steel making. So taking away from two tons of CO2 per ton of steel to around 100 kilo. Our customers have signed up for cyan-based targets and so be able to provide them with green steel that abates 95% of that CO2, we have been able to allow them to meet their goals in a much faster way. Microsoft coming in as an investor, it's not only an investment but it's a partnership where we will then be able to benefit from each other's strengths. We're looking at opportunities to provide green steel for future data centers and building a brand new steel mill in Europe will produce first two and a half million ton steel per year and then five million ton green steel per year. I think it is the opportunity to really revolutionize a whole industry that is really important for humankind is what I'm most excited about.